All right, so we are here live on the shore floor of HR in Chicago, and uh, I'm here at the Option booth, Kimura's Option, and I'm here with uh, Dr. Chuck and with Nick Strickland uh, from Kimura's, and we just want to kind of give you a quick overview. Obviously, A2Ls are an absolutely massive topic right now, um, so I guess we're going to start with you, Nick, just kind of walking through, you know, what do you have here? What are you presenting with this ABCs? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the opportunity to chat. We appreciate it. Uh, so, you know, ABC stands for R454A, okay. R454B, and R454C. Okay, so very easy. <laughs> easy to understand. Yeah. Um, we did that that way because R454B, which has been now selected by 80% of the U.S. manufacturers for OEMs, is our tip of the spear. And uh, R454A has 6% higher capacity than R404A, has 3% better energy efficiency, with a whopping 94% lower GWP. We love that product. And our California product, R454C, less than 150 GWP, and for systems with a 200 pound charge size, we believe is an excellent option for where you have to have a lower GWP below 150. So that's why we're here. Yeah, for sure. So C is easy to remember because C is for California. California. California, is that it? Is that the only market that we're probably gonna see this? No, it's a little tongue-in-cheek uh, way to remember it oh, okay. because California <laughs> okay. is less than 150. Right. Those applications where you need less than 150 GWP right. for 200 pound larger you know, charge sizes, for example. Got it. Got it. Great. So, Option. People who aren't familiar with the Option brand, what is that? How does that relate to like some of the previous branding that we've seen? Sure. Well, everyone is probably familiar with uh, Freon, which is our original brand when we were part of DuPont back in the 1930s. So everything was kind of free on up until uh, the transition now where we're going to Option. There were some other brands people may remember, Suva, Iceon, but Option is our HFO-based technology platform. Everything going forward, including the A2Ls and some A1 products are going to be under the Option brand. Yeah, so a lot of people, when they said Freon, they really meant R22. Like, that's what a lot of people in the residential world, but it was always a broader family of products, right? Yeah, and I, you know, I did a little video on this, like, it's a brand, it's not a molecule, right? right? Freon right. is it covers things, but a lot of people use Freon generically for any refrigerant, any fluorocarbon, and specifically a lot of people think Freon equals R22. So, we can remember it by the R number, or we can do XL40, XL41, XL20. That's also, that's the specific refrigerant. That's a, yeah, that's our brand, Option XL40, XL20. The XL are the lower flammability ones. We have XP40, which is a 404 replacement, which is non-flammable, good for retrofits. I would also point out the, the A, B, and C kind of line up. If you look at GWPs and where the regulations are going, there's kind of a bar around 750, 700, one around 300, one around 150. So the, the B obviously is a GWP less than 700 for air conditioning, less than 300 for the A, and then less than 150, the kind of yeah, the joke about California being the first with the 150 limit and uh, 454C. So we did a recent live stream where we talked about a lot of the new regulations that are coming down and specifically relating to that, that date, that kind of drop, da drop dead 2025 date. And now it looks like the EPA has changed that a little bit Do you, um, as far as the residential market. Yeah, Nick, you want to take that? There's a little bit. A little bit a of little a change in the rule. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there was a shift in timing, but uh, it doesn't change our shift in strategy. Right. Okay. Good. Yeah. Very, very concise. Yeah. I like it. I like I, it. Yeah. I think, you know, there's that, that sell through period, I think, was a little concern with, you know, wholesalers and, and contractors and inventories and all that. So right. I think that will ease some of that. Uh, yeah, but it's all still there. happening in the same way. It's basically it's, just extended a year, right? It's still happening. We're ready. You know, we've been going kind of with, with projects kind of in a small way, getting everyone ready. Training is a huge thing, as you're well aware. We've right. been doing training. Don Gillis, our, our, our great uh, corporate trainers, he is booked up solid. He is crisscrossing the country. Uh, right. No, it's huge. Right. It's huge. There's so much, so much going on. Um, this may not be a specific question for you guys, but it's one that I've been getting a lot recently. The last couple of weeks, I've been seeing inundated with this particular question. For people who want to know about the not, not just the equipment side, because we know mitigation, what's happening on that front. 
but about questions relating to line sets, because this is commonly coming up, like lower flammability limit in line sets that are run through closets and existing retrofit applications, that kind of thing. Where do people go to like really figure out where the interpretations lie for this sort of thing? What would you suggest? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, there, there's a lot going on in the kind of the codes and standards world, but that kind of language it is lags, yeah. language. Uh, real practical sense, I think uh, places like AHRI kind of look at it from, here's from the chemical side, here's from the contractor side, the building owner side, and try and get some good guidelines put together. They've done it for like storage and transportation. So I think as these new questions come up around specifics, line sets, uh, they'll be a good place. Yeah, I'm doing the uh, leaders panel tomorrow, and that was one of the ones I was going to drop on uh, HRI and see what they had to say. And it isn't just like, I think in, in almost every case, it's not a concern, but you do run into those those one-offs, you know, that you don't want to, again, don't want to hit that lower flammability limit. That's the thing we want to stay, uh, stay above, so. Can I take a minute just to highlight our uh, 454A? Yeah, let's key, do it. Let's do it. Features and yeah, for sure, yeah, so, for sure, absolutely. So for commercial refrigeration, we're very excited about 454A. And the reason we're excited about it, again, because it has 6% higher capacity in 404A. Right. So if you have a 404A evaporator, a 404A condenser, you can put 454A in that system, right? You can have a matched pair in there. For some of the competing products, some of the competing A2Ls, you have to have a, a condensing unit that's 50% upsized versus the 404A unit. So you have to have a mismatched pair. So again, I want to highlight the value of using a 454A. It's just a great product in terms of overall energy performance capacity and GWP. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. Any other comments from you on that? No, we're busy. It's an exciting time. Uh, you know, another transition, but uh, we're out there and ready. So call us if you have any questions. Yeah, we're, you're, you're going to need a nap when it's all done. I think probably yeah. <laughs> it's been a it's been a challenging uh, season trying to get everybody prepared. But um, yeah, so for people who want to find out more about all the products that you have coming out and everything that's changing, what are some of the best places they should go? Uh, Option.com is kind of the place I would direct everyone to. And from there, you can get into our products. You can contact our technical people. If it's more business, uh, purchasing type stuff, you can you know, navigate your way there. So Option.com is the place to start. Awesome. Chuck, Nick, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, HVACRschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast, available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications, available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.